black spots. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the no makeup, makeup look. Which really is kind of random, but let's be honest. I was going on a date tonight, so I was gonna have my makeup done anyways. And I figured that I might as well film it because you guys ask all the time about my favorite products and things like that. So throughout this entire tutorial, I'm actually going to talk my way through. Not like a voiceover like I normally do, like actually just like talk my way through. Because it's a super simple look for people who are just starting out, people who don't really want to wear a lot of makeup, people who just don't feel like doing their makeup, or people who are like going to grandma's house for Thanksgiving or any of the holidays and don't want to show up at grandma's with their eyeshadow looking like they just left like a Crayola factor. You want to look nice and natural for the holidays. Maybe spice it up a bit here and there. And of course I understand that not everybody's going to have the same products that I do. You guys can always just toss them into Google or honestly just like line up the products the best that you can to drugstore products or any other brands that you would like to do that too. All the products that you say we listed in the description below the video as well as my other social media. Please feel free to follow me on other social media and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. So since I'm starting this tutorial from like the very beginning, no foundation, nothing whatsoever, and I'm going to be talking my way through this entire tutorial, I just want to tell you guys that I am using 100% my line of makeup brushes through this entire tutorial so you guys are not like, Lex, if you say made you look one more time because it might drive you guys like completely insane. So I don't 100% have a name for all of the brushes yet, but I'm starting off with this really, really thick foundation brush, which this is one of my current absolute favorites right now. And then I'm also using my Naked Foundation in 0.5. Yes, that is the lightest one. I fully come to terms with being the color of paper. And at this point when I'm actually getting ready, I'm not filming. I normally have my hair up in like a giant bun. It's usually not even dry yet. So I need to clip my hair out of the way or else it's going to drive me nuts. And then I just cut my bangs. So they're also going to drive me nuts. Now with any liquid foundation, especially the Naked Foundation, it has a little ball in here to shake up your foundation. So you want to shake it up, squirt a little bit out. And then I just take some on my brush. And I normally start in the center of my nose and then go out and do one side at a time. I almost always put my foundation on in like a circular motion. I feel like this buffs out the product even more. I also like to bring my foundation onto my neck because I am super, super, super red and honestly if I don't blend it down onto my neck, I look so patchy. Now that I've pretty much sucked out any sort of color or life that I had to my face and I look dead. I'm then using my really fat, fluffy powder brush and my Makeup Forever 110 powder that also comes with a little sponge but I prefer to put it on with a brush. I'm actually adding a little bit of color back into my face but mainly setting the liquid that I just put on and messing up my eyebrows. Ta-da! Still dead. For my eyebrows, I have a tendency to use a bunch of different products. This one particularly, for this look, I'm gonna be using the Revlon Brow Fantasy, I don't know what it is. For natural redheads, I always recommend like a dark blonde color, maybe even like a light brown you could almost get away with. With this, I'm using a pencil bli- a bli- bliner. Brow liner. A bliner. And I normally use the NYX Cosmetics Eyebrow Marker, but because I want to keep this more of like a natural look, I'm going to fill it in with pencil just so I can kind of brush it out a little bit more because the eyebrow marker is for more of like defined brows. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this and talk, but personally I always go underneath my eyebrows and line that first and then just fill upwards. I know a lot of people normally do like the whole highlight around it, fill it in with pencil, fill it in with gel, brush that out, fill it in with I don't even know what. But even when I'm doing like dramatic smoky eyes, I do not spend that much time on my eyebrows. Fill them in, boom, done. them out. Boom. Done. Now if you're going to be applying mascara next, you do not need to apply primer, but I'm using the Urban Decay Eden Primer because I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow on. What I really like about the Eden Primer, specifically from Urban Decay, is that it's like a really light primer. It has a little bit of color to it, so when you do apply it, it like instantly brightens up your eyes no matter how tired you are. It covers up redness really well. It covers up blueness really well, veins. I haven't slept in 48 hours. Urban Decay also has another primer. I'm pretty sure it's called Sin. And it's like a shiny champagne kind of color. And that's like really nice on its own also, like without any eyeshadow or anything. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using my double-ended brush. This one is more like an eyeshadow brush and this one's more like a blending end. Really, you could blend with both ends. Plus you can spin it around real fast like <laughs> 
<laughs> like a ninja, it's great. I'm then gonna be using my Naked 3 palette, which is one of my favorite palettes for redheads, and one of my favorite palettes for like natural looks in the world. And I'm going to be using this end color and then also this color. This one is called Strange and this one is called Limit. Of course, I know that not everybody like has the Naked 3 palette, but you guys can always find like colors that are similar or colors that you think go with your skin tone that don't really stand out like too much. So I'm taking the color Strange and I'm putting it underneath my brow. Also blending that down onto my lid and going underneath my eye with it. Strange is really nice because it brightens up around your eyes. Honestly, though, it's so light, I could probably just use it as foundation if I wanted to. I'm also applying Strange on my eyelid. Basically, just apply Strange like all over. I'm then using the blending side of my brush to apply the color Limit. And this is just bringing a little bit of color back into my eyelids. Now, if you guys really want to make it look like your eyelashes are like thick and full, you guys can also go in with like a dark gray eyeliner or a brown eyeliner on your tight line. But for tonight, I'm just gonna be applying my mascara, which the mascara that I always use is Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. I've been using this forever. Now, the trick with mascara is that you want to get it as close to your lash line as possible. Now, please excuse me while I make some crazy faces. To give my face back its color, I'm also gonna be using Desert Rose MAC Blush. I've also used the Mocha Blush as well. And I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. I also like to apply whatever is left over on my brush just around the rest of my face just to give it some more life again because I'm super pale. I'm just using some sugar lip treatment from Fresh. My lips normally get like red as they are, so it's really rare that I'll ever put like a rosy color on unless I'm doing like black, in which I still wouldn't be using a rosy color, I'd be using black. 